course principles of food science and nutrition so what is spoilage of food spoilage of food is nothing but a any visible or invisible cha change which makes food or product derived from food unacceptable for human consumption it can also be defined as the alternation in food or change in physiological chemical and biological properties of food which makes the food hazardous to eat on the basis of the quality of the food it can be defined in three categories that is perishable semi perishable and non perishable foods milk fruit vegetables fishes these all falls under perishable food because they are the food which which is spoiled very easily means within a short time ek din aap rakhiye milk ko fruit ko rakhiye bahar ek do din mein ye bilkul kharab ho jayenge milk to aap within 24 hours if you are not going to heat it it will lose its quality and uh, this potatoes are the semi perishable foods which if we process it properly it can be stored for the few months means uh, potatoes ko aap store karke rakh sakte ho 5 degree celsius par for 3 to 4 months then non perishable foods these are the foods which are generally not spoiled easily these are sugar flour etc these are spoiled when aap agar aap isko handled improperly karte ho for example agar rice ya wheat आपके पास है इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू लूज इट्स क्वालिटी बट इफ इट कम्स इन द मॉइस्चर कॉन्टेक्ट देन इट्स डिग्रेड इट्स क्वालिटी सो दिस आर द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फूड्स नेक्स्ट व्हाट आर द काउजेज दैट मेक्स द फूड डिटेरिएट सो दिस आर द काउजेज दैट इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म एक्टिविटी ऑफ इंजाइम्स प्रेजेंट इन फूड इंसेक्ट्स पैरासाइट सोलेंट्स टेम्परेचर मॉइस्चर ऑक्सीजन लाइट एंड टाइम in this microorganism is the major factor which play important role in the food deterioration and today i will be dealing with the microorganism which causes the spoilage of food so how aap kaise bologe ki food is spoiled ho gaya simply presence of microorganism does not make the food deteriorated means agar microorganism present hai to iska matlab ye nahi hai food kharab ho gaya ये क्या करता है यह वी ऑल नो दैट इज फूड में कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन लिपिड्स आर द मेजर पोर्शन सो ये क्या करता है कार्बोहाइड्रेट प्रोटीन और लिपिड के क्वालिटी को डिग्रेड कर देता है कार्बोहाइड्रेट को फर्मेंट कर देगा नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजनस सब्सटेंस लाइक प्रोटीन को ये डिग्रेड कर देगा डिकम्पोज करेगा लिपिड को ऑक्सीडाइज कर देगा सो इन दिस वे दे प्ले इन रोल इन food deterioration and cause spoilage of food what it does in a carbohydrate under anaerobic condition it leads to the fermentation process for protein pro, uh, for proteinaceous compounds under anaerobic condition protein results in obnoxious odor very bad smelling odor aapko feel hoga that's the process is called putrefaction and in lipid Uh, the process of conversion that is called oxidation so it is caused by the enzyme present in the food or the enzymes released by the microorganism itself now the spoilage of cereals and cereal product this cereal and cereal products are classified as whole grains mill grain products processed cereals and ready mixes these are the example of uh, like rice wheat falls under whole cereals wheat flour maida this falls under milled grain products winning food breakfast cereals are under processed cereals idli mix vada mix are under the ready mixes that are available in the market so under physical factor which causes the spoilage faulty packaging material is the main reason and for if you talk about the physiological reason respiration and heating in grain temperature humidity and oxygen plays a key role biological factor microorganism insects rodents plays a important role the source of contamination in cereals comes from soil air insects natural microflora and uh, when you talk about the microorganisms that pseudomonas micrococci lactobacillus and bacilli 
and among mold aspergillus trichopus mucor fusarium plays an important role these are all the i have given the name of the different microorganisms that causes the food spoilage just go through it in bread you can see the there are three types of spoilage occur in bread first is the ropiness in bread it occurs due to hydrolysis of bread flour that called gluten and you can see in the figure also the development of yellow to brown color and soft and sticky surfaces this is the ropiness in bread and it is caused by the bacillus subtilis next is the chalky bread this you can see in the figure also the figure also development of white chalk like spots in the bread due to spoilage spoilage of it then is the red or bloody bread it is due to the excess growth of the cerasia and in this type of spoilage a, a brilliant red color on starchy foods appear that gives the blood red appearance it is caused due to the neurospora and gliotrichum in addition to cerasia next is the spoilage of milk and milk products when the milk come out from the cow or any other domestic animal it is free from any microorganism but what are the sources from which contamination comes these are milking machine dairy utensils bulk milk cooler hand and arm of the milker flies and air around the milk parlor in addition tank truck transfer pipe sampling utensils separator homogenizer coolers glass bottles these are the source of infection of the milk products and i have already to told you that gliotrichum is also called the dairy mold which frequently appears, appears in the dairy product next is the spoilage of meat it comes from the external sources during breeding handling and processing and during breeding skinning and cutting are the main sources of microbes in the exterior of the animals and the among molds gliadosporium gliotrichum penicillium plays a important role and among bacteria pseudomonas bacillus clostridium causes the spoilage of meat the pseudomonas is the predominant spoilage bacteria in aerobically stored raw meat and poultry and this lactic acid bacteria grow on meat and poultry packed under vacuum and modified atmosphere and blown packed meat spoilage is characterized by the excessive gas formation thus it results in a very bad smell is caused due to the formation of butyric acid butanol and other sulfurous compound in this meat products these bacteria are the major microorganisms which play key role and this extend molds rarely grow and if it grow it grow very slowly next is the poultry meat the cause of spoilage of poultry meat is salmonella and campylobacter this i have already discussed about the different features of this in the last lecture and if you stored this uh, poultry meat at temperature below 18 degree celsius so you can maintain maintain a, its quality for a long period of time next is the spoilage of fish and seafoods these are the microorganisms like cerasia micrococcus bacillus this causes an important role in spoilage of fish and seafoods this salmonella is also found in oyster due to contaminated water next is the eggs uh, most freshly laid eggs are sterile but uh, contamination comes from the fecal material from the hen by the lining of the nest by wash water and by handling of the material in which eggs are packed in a spoilage of eggs is generally caused by the bacteria as compared to molds and uh, and it can be described as a green dot due to growth of pseudomonas fluorescence and mold causing uh, bacteria mold uh, causing spoilage of eggs include penicillium mucor alternaria etc now the spoilage of fruits and vegetables the spoilage of fruits and vegetables occurs during the storage transportation processing washing mechanical damage and you know processing uh, or like trimming peeling cutting coring this all add to the contamination of the food and vegetables 
Uh, since the uh, fruit and vegetables contain a higher amount of water, so the fungi are the most dominating organisms which grow on the fruit. And it also grow under the acidic condition. We all know that most of the fruits are acidic in nature. So fungi are the most dominating organism. And molds are also an efficient scavenger of oxygen. So if the in uh, canned fruit, it is it grows and causes the spoilage of canned food items. This in figure you can see the spoilage of food by the Penicillium italicum and Penicillium digitatum. This is, this is the soft rot of apple due to Penicillium expansion. This is the Rhizopus stonolifer which causes soft and muzzy food cottony growth of mold. This is the anthracnose. This is the watery soft rot due to sclerotia. Sclerotina scleroteorum. Next is the lactic acid bacteria, which causes spoilage of fruits. It occurs due to the Lactobacillus inococcus. Inococcus is the most acid and alcohol tolerant species among acetic acid bacteria, Acetobacter and Gluconobacter, which oxidize acetic acid to carbon dioxide. And this genus is also an over oxidizer. Next is the spore former, which causes the spoilage of fruits is the Bacillus coagulans, Bacillus subtilis like that. Next is the spoilage of vegetables. The spoilage of vegetables occur due to the bacterial soft rot caused by the Irvinia pseudomonas. You can see in the figure also that Irvinia soft rot in tomato, bacterial soft rot in capsicum and most of the vegetables are affected like onions, garlic, beans, carrot, beets, lettuce, spinach. This is the black leg of potato and this is the this figure is the black leg rot of cabbage due to xanthomonas and compestris. Fungal spoilage of vegetables. It occurs due to penicillium, cladosporium, rhizopus, aspergillus. This is a figure you can see gray mold in tomato. Here is the onion black mold, pink mold rot. This is a fusarium species of which affects the tomato. This is the sclerotinia species. And this is the watery soft rot due to sclerotina sclerotiorum. This you can also see in the, if you, refer, you keep the carrot for the some time, you can see that this type of de development in your kitchen also. Next is the spoilage in canned product. Spoilage in canned product occurs due to the both due to biological and chemical reaction. The biological spoilage is primarily due to the microbial growth while the chemical spoilage is caused due to the hydrogen production due to the reaction of acid present in the food with the iron on the can. These are the factors which contribute to, to the chemical spoilage that increased storage temperature, increased acidity of food, improper exhaust, presence of soluble sulfur and phosphorus compound and improper timing and liquoring of can at internal surfaces. Among biological spoilers, leaking, leakage of can under processing is the main factor. These are the bacteria like Bacillus and Clostridium which causes the spoilage of food and among fungi, fermentive waste are the most prominent that produce carbon dioxide. So you can see also the swelling of the cans which is due to nothing but the fungi which grow in the canned, uh, canned food products and among mold aspergillus and penicillium are the most spoiling organisms. These are, they cause grow, they also grow at the high sugar concentration. So these are all about the spoilage of food and uh, students, those who are preparing for the GRF examination, you can refer this book also. This is the ornamental horticulture. This is MCQ with explanation. In this question, along with MCQ, I have incorporated explanation also of some of the selected questions. So at the uh, end time of the examination, you can just go through it for the quick recapitulation. And this is the link through which you can get on the Amazon also. So students, uh, and it is also useful for the fourth semester BSc agriculture students. 
uh, for the courses production technology for ornamental crops map and landscape landscaping hopefully this will book will be very useful for you thank you